everyone welcome back to revived witch so i'm going to give you guys a review of revived witch and probably my final thoughts but before that we're going to have a small tour of the facility for revived witch so you have here first and foremost we'll start from the right side so your workshop is here this this actually pertains to your gear so there are forging so of course forging um when you forge something you add some stats to it then you have here your this is actually a a doll that you can actually give presents to once you give a present to a doll it also um what do they call this it also adds to her stats as well okay so that's it you can actually change the doll that you want to appear here and that you want to give gifts to so if you want to send something um there's no gift right now but you can send a gift if you have one available then this is actually for your story then you have here guild with it which isn't open yet um i recently actually opened um witch courtyard um i'm not going to the details of this this is actually just the uh, additional content for the game so quests again additional quests so there are a lot of quests in the game particularly um pve quests that you can actually do um at this point i'm not sure if this game has pvp mode but more or less the the, the pvp mode for this is story driven so i haven't explored which uh which courtyard yet archive is basically your the, the characters that are in the game you can check out the background or character profile like this cat so and also you um this this girl actually is uh picking my interest so laksha so i hope I, I hope you know we could get her in the future and use her as one of your dolls um <laughs> for what reason um i hope we could get her um also you have here your commission board your commission board is literally your small quests that you could go on so there are a lot of um uh what do you call this mini quests that you have to do um there is also one pertaining to the storyline so you could get a lot of uh, rewards here also these one the soul is actually required for recruitment so the game actually gives out um currency for recruitment you have progress you have bond growth as well so again um i'm hoping that this game is actually free to play um this game has a lot of potential especially with the 2d graphics um the gameplay the story itself is actually from my initial reaction it's actually good then you have commission here commission board so that is it um next is summon so you're pretty much familiar with the summons here the highest rarity would be your you are uh, going down it's ssr sr and r so let's give this a go this is actually your um large uh, soul uh, cryolite which gives you 10 summons so let's do this um let's see if uh, no it's going to be blue so it's going to be it's only going to be sr max so that is it confirm then let's go back to I was sidelined uh, let's go back then you have your workshop here guys as you can see earlier on, on on the right side so this is just a shortcut of your of your um workshop then you have here formation okay um in this game you have different types of formation so first you have your deployed formation which is the three dolls including the witch um that's going to do battle okay so the witch can be swapped out with any doll you can actually use three dolls for um a, for for the content so these three are going to do battle for you once one dies let's say for example um she dies uh this girl uh ssr then she gets replaced by this girl because they're in the same column so this girl's replaced by this girl then the witch is replaced by this girl um so you get my point so there are they are basically your bench so once um one of the deployed is down then next doll up 
so to say. So you can change the order of this. You can um, you can uh, change the dolls that are here. You can actually preset up to four teams for this. And take note, guys, there are actually elemental deep, uh, buffs that you can take advantage of, especially if they are of the same type. You have Mercury, Saltstone, and Brimstone. So it's up to you. Um, I'm not yet particular with any type of formation that we can use. But again, it's here in the game and you could take advantage of these buffs. And you could also test that particular lineup that you have. So as you can see here, it's an auto. So more or less, it, this is going to be in auto. So this is, um, as you can see here, guys, this one, the yellow bar. So this is actually combat tutorial already. So this yellow bar pertains to the first skill of your character so even if you're not casting anything they are attacking okay so they're they're really attacking um their basic attack so um the witch has this the middle character has this and the the rightmost character has this so once you for example use a three order energy your chaos energy on the right side will be charging Okay, so as you charge your chaos energy, and these are the if you have these, um, the rightmost uh, spell is going to be your chaos spell. So let's try to cast another one. So your bar is actually full already for chaos energy. So either you use this, so it 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 deducts four, then you have two, then you have to charge it again. You have to use um, order energy. For you to charge it then you use this perhaps as you're using chaos energy this actually charges so this is going to be your outbreak mode so let's charge this up and see what happens so let's do um let's do this let's do this then let's do this and keep on charging so that we can reach your outbreak mode so once you're in outbreak mode you can actually click this. Let's say, for example, you've, you've used all your, your energy. Let's say, for example, I, I want to deplete all of these. Once you click this, both of your bars will be, uh, what do you call this, will be full. And um, you can use as many spells as possible um, during outbreak mode. And actually, your order energy is actually at an accelerated charging mode during outbreak mode. So that is actually how you play this game. Um, I would suggest that you create a deployment team that is built for autoplay. Because again, my experience is if you we do this on manual, I usually don't look at the battle anymore. I'm actually fixated below here. I'm fixated looking at the spells below. So again, sometimes you, you can't enjoy the animations above because you're too fixated in clicking the buttons here. So again, I would rather, you know, suggest that you build your team built for auto so that you can enjoy the animations up here. So again, um, that is actually based on combat. So each doll has their own type of skill. So in terms of healing, debuffs, buffs, damage. So let's go in a while to, so here, as you can see here, these are the buffs that I mentioned earlier. Let's move out of um, of this. Okay, so let's say, for example, let's go out of this. Go out of formation. Let's go to dolls. So in this particular doll, let's say I have her. So if you click on her type, there are actually specific types of dolls. You have your guardians. Guardians are more are more on the defensive side. Uh, let's say, for example, they're on the what they call this. They're 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 two thirds de defense, then one third offense. Assassin is purely offense, high damage, but they're very squishy. They're like a glass cannon. Healers is more or less again, as their name says, healers. They put out mainly heals. Your witch is actually the character that you're bringing. Your destroyer is actually two thirds, I feel two thirds attack and one third defense, which actually is my, I think my favorite type of doll in this game. Um, Compel is actually, um, 
a semi healer. So I think it's a uh, one third healer than um, some some debuffs for the other spells. And mage is um, is a attack version uh, of I think your assassin uh, because um, it uses magic. So these are the type of dolls that you have in terms of these skills. So you will be able to farm your mana during the game during your quests. So the, your mana is actually used in leveling up your doll. So let's say, for example, let's level her up to 27. So she's there. Then your ascend would be you have to collect these. So your basic healer quartz. You have to collect them. You have to buy them in the shop some. So to be able to ascend, then you are given a lot of um, um, bonuses in terms of stats. Next is your Evolve. Your Evolve is actually two types. So either you use a Mortimer Soul Stone, so a Dull Soul Stone, or you use this one. So a Average Healer Soul Stone. So either, either way you can, so you can select whether you go, you use this currency or you use this one. So you can Evolve a specific Dull. Then there's a buff as well, a very big buff in terms of heal. Or, uh, for her evolution then you have here your skills skills as well have certain levels so i have her skill i haven't unlocked her skill yet her third one so as you can see here this is how you unlock their skills so it's actually it actually goes down to a certain level so each level actually needs like for example this one this currency is your shimmering light You'll be able to collect this during the game. And this is very scarce, guys. This currency is very scarce. And um, you should be mindful of where to use this. Especially if um, you have a limited or a core team. Use them there. Don't use it on the others that you don't use. So skills can be leveled up. And also you have gear. So also for gear, I would suggest you just use your, the basic gear. Um, do not forge at this point. Because um, they, these are very low level weapons. As you progress in the game, the game will give you higher level weapons. So at that point, you can already forge. And also, let's take a look at this one. So this is what I told you guys earlier. The gift. So there are specific gifts for specific dolls. So for her... Um, not yet full, so I think I'm 80 or 90% full. Then you have here, you have here your 2D original, uh, your original model, then your 2D, so unlocks at Ascension 2. There are a lot of good art here, guys. So, so these are the, the ratings or the comments for each doll, and that's it. This, these are her stats. Rating, auto remove, auto equip. So that's it. That's those are the basics for each of your dolls. So for mine, one of the one of the ones that I like most is this one. I like the artwork for this doll. Um, I'm, I can't actually. I I am actually looking forward to her original or for her L L two D original model, which is actually animated. So this is what it looks like. So for the witch, I already opened one. So as you can see, the L2D is actually moving uh, versus your original model, which is not. So I'm looking forward to that as well as for my other dolls. So, so far, my team is going to be, as you can see earlier, my deployment team and my backup team. And um, that's it, guys. So shop. There are some items here um, you have here groceries so these are your items that you can purchase um, these are level up items uh, basic furniture as well i think there's going to be a dorm type for this one that is why there's furniture so that's it so let's uh, those are doll equipment by the way so let's do some adventure guys so again these are your basic tabs this one is for your summons this one as well. This one, your um, what do you call this? This currency is actually um for your uh content. 
So if you want to play content, your adventure, let's say, for example, you could go here and go here. Let's say, for example, we do um, before that, go back. So for your um, PvE content, you have a parallel uh, chronosphere. Then you have a dream world. So these are stages where you can farm mana, ascension, and doll equipment. So you can farm these. You can use your currency as well. So let's, but we'll move on to the story first. Um, I'll take you through one level of the story so that you can see how the gameplay, how what what type of gameplay you are going to interact with. So let's go and do this now. So I'm just going to use my default team. Okay, so basically you are you're using a joystick then once you encounter monsters they usually would uh, go towards you but i usually do this on auto to enjoy the animation um my team is actually built for auto already so um it really refills up my my what they call this my hp once they're damaged so again this is a nice game to play guys uh, if you still if you enjoy these types of games which there is very heavy story involved and during this maze you get to interact with a lot of different types of npcs so and also solve a lot of mini quests side quests you name it and there are actually um puzzles within these stages that you can actually solve so i've solved quite a lot already i'm just gonna skip through this um I'll rerun the story once I have time. Uh, so let's go and... Um, so these ones are actually for your mana. So again, mana is used to level up your dolls. Then we'll have another action here. So just wanna, you know, just wanna do this um, one stage for you guys so that you can see some of the puzzles that I'm talking about. So, so far, I'm I'm happy with the team. This is actually my second account. I already created the first account that I was not satisfied in which uh, I had to change from uh, to this account. So, you have chests here. You can open it. Then you have this um, teleport. So, you're being teleported somewhere. So, I'll, I'll go back first. I haven't uh, explored that other area up there e. so what i do is i explore most of the area first before i go to another area um because there are a lot of chests that you could uh, that you could uh, look and get items from um the higher you know the higher content or the higher the the, the further you are the story the, the items that you get are getting uh, better so this is that end you can actually move here for the next scene as you can see there you can also move through there um let's go there first let's go back there teleported to a different as you can see here guys this is your map please make sure that you 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 are able to navigate through your map the the map is pretty much very transparent so that sometimes you you don't see the outline of the stages or the map itself so this is just uh this is actually a dead end going back there so that was the next phase so not that much puzzles guys in this stage going to go through the next phase next scene you can actually exit this um your quests by clicking this so you're going to return to the hall of origin but more or less some of the stages are just plainly exploration not much not much puzzles to go through more of interactions or fights or battles but i'm gonna just finish this guys and let's go back to the hall of origin okay so again basic battles this game you will love this game for the 2d art um that is simply you know my opinion um 
because again the 2d art is very very clean very nice so this is actually a lever so let's say for example we're gonna push this so this is actually what i meant by puzzles there are levers that you have to move so that you could move um through other places and uh and and go through because um there are certain levers that you have to combine to open a certain area so that is actually what i experienced so far but as you progress i think there will be you know harder stages this is just a design to probably whet your appetite in terms of the game in terms of um playing it in terms of you know um making sure that um we are actually enjoying this game so this is a glyph for speed open not sure so again this is just exploration at this point bunch of battles with trees with trees and flower treant not not a tree so anyway we're we're built for auto so it's gonna be quick okay so that is pretty much it um i don't want to um, uh, take too much of um, exploring this map because again exploring if you enjoy exploring um this game is definitely for you guys let's go back to all of origin i'll go back to that later after we or i give you guys my final thoughts my final thoughts with this game um it remains to be seen as we explore the adventure as you get more dolls as the difficulty increases so far they've done a good job in putting this together the pixel the pixelated design is actually good and also for the 2d design or the the design of the dolls are on point i like them very much um and more or less if if they could uh, you know if i could open these they would be animated and you know better for us to view so so far um the mechanic in terms of battle it's actually built for auto so you have to build a team for auto for you for me for you i think to enjoy the game but again um you have a lot of you know you have a lot of options in terms of team build fighting approach you go with a destroyer you go with a de defensive team you go with an assassin you go with a, a more attack oriented team so again it really depends on what they have in store for us moving forward okay so those are my thoughts guys so again this is a worthy game to you know to play with after um close beta testing so if you guys have your own close beta testing i suggest you you know enjoy it until it finishes i think it's going to be finished on september 23rd so i'm gonna you know i'm gonna try to enjoy this game uh for the close beta and probably cover this game again during its formal launch okay guys so thank you very much if you've stayed this far this in, in this video so please consider, consider subscribing and also click that bell icon and put a like to this video thank you guys stay safe take care this is the warden and i'm out of here